How's it going guys? Now we got the updated uh, power station. We got uh, two 50 amp uh, Anderson plugs. This, both of these leads are just running parallel. So it's 100 amps, 100 amps. The one in red is positive, negative. That's all I had. Did not want to wait a couple weeks for uh, the 100 amp. I might eventually order it and get rid of those. But for now, I'm going to go with this. Just bought the stackable toolbox that goes with the bottom here. And got to put this down. And there we have it. And what we got inside is the MPPT charge controller by Reliable. We got the uh, pure sine wave split phase inverter from Reliable. Then we just got ourselves uh, a cheap uh, 8 amp 58.4 volt charger. Then we have this much heavier duty 15 amp 58.8 volt charger. I guess that's a 58.8 volt as well. Oh, our grow tower lights just shut off. They're quite nice for filming beside, but anyways. And this I just have completely separate. So this is like the extra charger if I want to charge faster. But this, if I put both chargers on at the same time, I can charge this in about five hours. It's a, it's a little over uh, 1100 watts, I believe, between the two. Something like that. And five, yeah, a little over five hours. And so I figured out what the battery capacity is. Originally, these were 70 amp hour cells, so this would have been 7.2 kilowatt hours. That's in the bottom, but of course, I, I get them used out of an electric car, so I believe they're at between uh, 80 and 90 percent degradation. And then, with my uh, 90 percent efficiency around there, I get around between four and five kilowatt hours, depending on what I'm running out of the inverter. Four, sorry 4.5 to 5 kilowatt hours out so with that being at 90 percent and that being a bit at 90 percent that's about what i get out of what was at one point rated for seven and uh, yeah i'm very very happy to get five kilowatt hours out of this pack that's really impressive on the ac side on the DC side, I have not tested that yet. I'm sure it's much higher. Like obviously it's gonna be about 10% higher. And I was pulling the maximum out of this inverter too. So this is a split phase. So you can do about 1500 watts there, 1500 watts there. And I was pulling 1500 watts out of one side. So if I was pulling 750 per side, it would have been much more efficient. So I'm wondering, maybe I could get quite a bit over five kilowatt hours if I uh, split the load properly. But yep, yeah, it's a quick update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. How's it going guys? It's going off grid. And today we are trying something new. This is just my regular 120 volt charger for the car. And this is a 240 volt charger. So this is a uh, 3.3 kilowatt, I believe, uh, is what goes into the car and 3,500 watts is what it takes to run this. Uh, and this is running all the way to my power box that I made. Now, we're going to see if this 3000 watt reliable can run this 240. This is going to be pushing it to its absolute limit. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. So here we go. See how it goes. Okay. And it's ramping up the voltage. There we go. 15 amps each. Oh yeah. It's already beeping. I don't know how long this is gonna run for. Beeping, but it is running. This is uh fully loading. That inverter, <laughs> that's 15 amps per leg and it says read on it, a maximum of 12.5 uh, amps per leg, I believe. 
to it. This is the utmost of this thing's capabilities. Wow. That's crazy. It's still doing it though. Like, will it just continue to do this till it overheats? There's the temperature right there, it looks like. It's sitting at 56.4 volts under load. But that is under load. Oh, it just, uh, it stopped. So it has a really good, really, really, really good surge for a long period of time. That's too bad, it's so close, so close to running my, my car on the fast charger. Okay, well, I'll have to just speak to Reliable and see if we can get their 5,000 watt split phase, because it would be perfect for this.